This is Two Wrongs Don't Make a Good Podcast. I mean, seriously, who keeps giving these a-holes microphones? Dolby just said a bad word. This is where we're going to start. This is the beginning of the podcast? This is the, right now is the beginning of the podcast. What was wrong with the word? Uh, I don't think I can explain that, because I don't actually know. It's just the one word that I generally avoid. It's got so much meaning to it, though. It's oh, it's so got much oomph. oomph. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, got- <laughs> it's the one word that you can say, because all the other ones have been watered down. It's the mm-hmm. one word you can say that really lets someone know what you think. Oh, it's the one word that if you say it, it'll ruin someone's day. I don't think it's Like, that if you say bad. it at them, calling them uh, one? Oh, I yeah. Know. I've called you that. Yeah, but that's different. I don't take anything you say seriously. That's you and most people in my life. <laughs> the banks. <laughs> the government. Ooh, that one hurts. <laughs> my listeners. <laughs> yeah. So I bought a vanilla soy milk because... Why? Uh, I, well, I wanted to make smoothies, and... Okay. I don't know why I went with soy milk. I had it in a latte when I was in Calgary over Christmas and was like, what? Soy milk's actually kind of good. God, you're so fancy. So fancy. <laughs> I'm wearing buttons. Um, it's blow snot rocket right into the microphone. See, now you're more of a man of the people. There we that's go. What, that's yeah. what guys do. <laughs> yeah, we just get together and we hawk loogies together, dude. That's weird. No, that's a- we need to make it an occasion. Okay. That was my impression of like a a guy hanging out with another guy. I don't is it, is that your impression because you don't hang out with a lot of other guys? <laughs> hang out with a lot of people. <laughs> when I leave here, yeah, I don't talk to anybody. Right. Like I got to Cornwall Center yesterday, which is a mall for anybody who doesn't live in Regina. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's and possible. It's highly improbable. We have like seven listeners in Regina. Listen. Expand your mind. Okay. Expanding my mind. Yeah. I was at the mall yesterday thank you uh and i i I was at shoppers drug mart buying some things and i i put them down on the thing and the lady was like how are you doing today and i was like because i hadn't (laughs) spoken to anybody yet like that was the first time yeah i was like i just want to buy my soy milk like leave me alone (laughs) (laughs) nobody nobody gets to make demands when they're buying (laughs) soy milk okay I want this, and I want world peace. (laughs) She's like, dude, I'm a cashier at Shoppers Drug Mart. Are you uh, lactose intolerant? No. No, I'm incredibly tolerant to lactose. Why soy milk? Um... I don't really know. Okay. I just I just kind of wanted to try it. Right. Uh, and so I bought it, and I liked it in my coffee. Sure. And then I realized that vanilla soy milk has 28 grams of sugar in a cup. <laughs> so it's like chocolate milk level bad for you, which isn't bad for you, but it's like, it's not good. 28 grams of sugar is enough for you're like not, a whole day. You're not meant to drink vanilla soy milk yeah. with the same frequency that you are... Milk. milk yeah yeah so then i just bought regular soy milk yesterday <laughs> oh okay fair yeah. enough because i i figure you know what I, I gotta gotta see what it's like without 28 grams of sugar the answer it's fine well, there you go it's not amazing it's it's a different flavor than milk and i like that in my coffee okay is it something different so it, now now you what you've done yeah is now you have to buy two kinds of milk why you you have to buy soy milk yeah. for your coffee and then you, do you still prefer milk no no, it's fine it's it's just different like i I haven't eaten cereal with the regular soy milk yet okay but i'll I'll give it a shot do you do you where do you get your calcium from does soy milk have calcium that is a solid question because you like me are a tall person we Mm -hmm. need a fairly significant structure frame to keep us off the ground you (laughs) are a series of broken bones waiting to happen Calcium that, should be a number one in your priorities. That's true. I uh, I haven't really thought about that. I uh, you know, I don't eat a lot. That's a lie. I eat a lot of junk food. Right. And I'm trying to stop eating a lot of junk food. I feel like you're not getting a lot of calcium in that either. No, probably not. Not a lot I'm of calcium in a whopper. Zero calcium. Because <laughs> when I was buying, well, I'm probably going to go back to buying regular milk next week. Um, I buy about two liters. A week. Okay. And that's about what I go through. So that's usually where I get my calcium. Right. Can you Google if soy milk has calcium I right guess. now? Yes. And this then is a weird this is a podcast hey, first. There's a computer right beside you. The first thing we've ever had to look up on the show. And we're learning together. We're here 
We're enjoying each other's company moderately. See, everybody talks about this like, oh, this is a learning experience. And people <laughs> say that to try and make shitty things sound fun. But like, I don't care about the answer to this question. You asked it. Well, I'm just mostly concerned about you dying because oh, it's more work. You. Well, no, because it's more work for me. Because you have to go back to scheduling all the music at the radio station. Yeah, I pawned so much of that off on you. Uh, yeah, calcium. 2% uh, of your daily calcium per 100 grams. I don't know. So, I mean, let's compare that to, to milk. So if you're still listening to this. What a riveting program. <laughs> milk is. is 12%. Okay, so you're getting so just, six times less calcium than you usually would. All right. So regular milk is the way to go. Uh, if you want healthy, if you believe all the hype, if you if you buy in on big calcium's claims of... I'll just go buy tablets. Bone density. Yeah. Because calci- oh, calciums aren't as good as like the little vitamin C vitamins. Those mm. are the... Oof. We Those were, are chef's choice premium orange flavor calcium. I oddly enough C's. have a calcium story that relates to this that just occurred to me. So we were talking to, uh, we were at a doctor the other day for, for a visit. Mm-hmm. And the doctor is like asking my wife about like medication. Like, are you, are you taking anything right now? Yada, yada, yada. And, and in a previous visit, my wife had been like, oh, I take Tums. Because sometimes I, you know, need Tums, yeah. like most humans. And the, that's basically just calcium something or another Yeah, is what makes Tums a thing. It's an antacid. Yeah. And uh, so this doctor was like, are you still taking calcium? My wife was like, oh, no, that's just, it's just Tums. And yeah, I only take it when I have, you know, an upset stomach, mm-hmm. but I haven't. So I haven't taken it in a long time. And she was, no, I didn't say Tums. I asked if you're taking calcium. And finally, my wife was just like, no, no, I'm not. I don't, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> because this nurse Jeez. decided that this was the hill to die yeah, this on. This is the one thing they're committing to. Lady, I need to know if you're on calcium or this whole thing falls apart. Are you injecting calcium? <laughs> is that what you're doing? How dare you? My uncle took calcium once. Now he lives under a bridge. A hollowed out car. Just injecting it into his veins. Smoked smoked pure calcium once. Great bones on that man. <laughs> but what a life. He's the densest homeless person in all of North Vancouver. That's a place with a lot of people on drugs, right? I imagine. Yeah. But I don't know if calcium's their drug of choice. Well, the whole thing is absurd, all right? I think it's more grass. I don't think there's a lot of people who are homeless because of grass. Yeah. Well, yeah. I feel like it's meth. Not grass. Like they're eating grass. Oh, just like straight up. Like ripping it out of the ground. Grazing. <laughs> yeah. Chewing on some cud. <laughs> <laughs> Is there even that much grass? Like actual grass in Vancouver anymore? It's really expensive. <laughs> yeah. $1,000 per square foot. That's why I have fake grass. You have fake here. grass? Yeah. For real? Yeah, our backyard is completely fake. I don't think you've been over to my house. Uh, I've, I've been in your backyard. Have you? But not... Well, uh, that's how the good thing. the fake grass is. Yeah, here's the thing. I'm not rolling around in your grass. Thank you for that. Your, your backyard's not huge. No. It's, no. what, 12 by 12? And most of it's concrete pad. Yeah. But that's why it's fake grass. Because the idea of needing to own a lawnmower... <laughs> For what's essentially two strips of lawn yeah. is absurd. <laughs> I'm just imagining you getting a riding mower. <laughs> and being like, Nicole, can you get me a beer? I'm mowing the lawn. And you just like wipe off the sweat. You get on the mower. You go around and she's like, I like that I'm sweating. Beer. In your story, yeah. I like that I'm sweating before I've gotten on the mower. Well, it's the climb up. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He really kills you. <laughs> and you're just like, oh. And you get inside before she's even cracked the beer. Yeah. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I- I'm done. Just going to take it down okay. to the end of the block and back. That's such a romantic idea. The, uh, the the suburban lifestyle of mowing your lawn at 2 p.m. on a Sunday. Someone handing you a cold beer with like the droplets mm, yep. dripping on down. And yep. you're just like. Ah. Yeah, that's called a beer commercial. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the universe you're imagining right now. For real. Straight it, up beer commercial. Sounds amazing, though, doesn't it? Beer commercial life is always better than actual life. True. Because nowhere in a beer commercial does anybody ever get shit-faced and pass out face down in a men's room. I would like to see that beer commercial. <laughs> They're just like... Because you know how they have to say, like, please drink responsibly. In small print at the very yeah. bottom of the screen at the they, very end of the spot. Yeah. They should have one that's just like... Can we... Hey, we can say a brand. Sure. Budweiser, please drink responsibly, or else. <laughs> and then it just cuts to a bathroom at a bar. Yeah. You're so drunk and so tired, and all you want to do is sleep, and your friend's vomiting in the toilet, going like, let's get back out on the dance floor. And you're like, just get in the fucking cab. <laughs> and then because it's a Bud commercial, someone yells, dilly dilly. <laughs> have you what? not seen that no that's their whole actually it's bud light but same thing okay yeah their whole ad campaign right now is uh like set in medieval times where the king of whatever realm it is has an unreasonable hard on for bud light and it's just like like one of the commercials is people coming up to him and being like a gift for the kingdom and it's a case of fucking bud light Wow. And he's just like, oh, you are truly a friend of the king. <laughs> and then for some reason, like the way they cheers, everybody raises a glass and is like, dilly dilly, <laughs> which makes no sense dilly whatsoever. Dilly. <laughs> <laughs> and then like someone else like comes up. <laughs> this this guy would be you, by the way, okay. in this commercial, uh, comes up to the king and puts this like this ju- this like wine bottle kind of looking thing down. And the king's like, what is this? And he's like, it's uh, this really delightful honey mead homebrew that I've been enjoying lately. And then they banish him to the pit of misery. Is this, a, is, like, is this for real? This is an actual Bud Light commercial. There's another one where there's a wizard who like shows off his, his loyalty to the kingdom by turning something into Bud Light. Wow. And then the king's like, do it again. And the wizard's like, I could do other things. Like I could <laughs> literally make you immortal. And the king's like, no, no, do the Bud Light thing. <laughs> and then everybody goes, dilly dilly. And then football oh, comes back on. Post Malone would be so proud. I mean, the whole thing doesn't make sense. No. Because it's medieval times and they have very clearly marked modern cases of Bud Light. Everything else <laughs> is fine. That part doesn't make sense. Unless you look at it from the perspective of, like everything else in the world, things have only gotten better since the Middle Ages. So back then they had Bud Light and now we have beer now we have honey mead craft <laughs> brewed yeah in a jar yeah when someone fridge. so when someone brings you a, a really nice craft brew you don't <laughs> send them to the pit of misery you go thank you for not bringing me a case of bottled water called bud light dilly dilly i mean okay we need to talk about post malone do we <laughs> yeah, well, i think we do <laughs> because first of all he loves bud light Okay. That's like his that's thing. true yeah uh and i i was okay actually we should tell people who post malone is because I feel like that's not a conversation that we've ever had on this podcast before. No, sorry. Let me just tell Windows 10 to fuck off. Okay. Just trying to update Windows in the middle 10. of our podcast. Getting in our way. Right? So Post Malone. Yes. He's a rapper, quote unquote. Yeah. Because he doesn't really rap. He kind of sing talk raps. He's a, he's a hip hop artist. Sure. Who's white. Who's white. Absurdly white. You'll see his face on the screen right now if you're watching on Facebook.com slash The Wolf Rocks. Wow, not, look at those crazy digital <laughs> effects. Whoa! I just made it spin. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you're just listening, just Google Post Malone. Yeah. And the first picture summarizes him, probably. It's what you would have expected Kid Rock to have looked like <laughs> before you saw Kid Rock. <laughs> like, if from a guy that's like, I'm trailer trash, and I'm white, and I rap, and I, I bang yeah. everybody's wife. And you've got that picture in your head? It's Post Malone. You just <laughs> didn't know it yet. It's Kid Rock before the calcium injections. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're obsessed with him. Yeah. Because his music's really lit. Like... I won't say that. Yeah, you will. I won't. No, 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 no. I will say that it's really good. I won't use the term lit because I'm not 14. I'm obsessed with Post Malone. Yeah, like it's unhealthy. I had I told my parents about him over Christmas, and they were like, (laughs) "Why?" (laughs) Yeah, I played I played some of his songs for my wife and her dad. Her dad looked like man. Maybe this whole letting you into our family thing was a mistake, and my wife was just like. Oh, that's that's nice. It's, that's you. You like this? Okay. Cool. Okay. 
Which is what most of the, we work at a rock radio station. Yeah. So right away, like even for me, like I, I'm I'm probably almost more of a hip hop guy than a rock guy. Like I know more about rock just because I'm in it. Right. But when I go home, I'm, I'm not listening to rock because well, I listen to it all day. Yeah, that's a big kind of misconception about yeah. radio. Is they're like, you work at a rock station, you must love rock, and yeah. I'm like, I really like rock. Yeah. Rock is my choice of of radio music. Yeah. But. I kind of listen to everything. Yeah. And so when I go home, I'll, I'll put on hip hop and like, mm-hmm. I'm a huge Kanye West fan, which Love I it. have been eating shit for, for years because I love his music, but even I can't deny that he's a complete asshole. Oh, he sucks. Yeah. He's yeah. a bad shitty human. But so I, I've been eating that for a long time. But even with that, like people who know that I like hip hop and that I like Kanye and now I'm like. Yeah, I'm kind of into Post Malone now. And they're just like, you can just see the bar that they've set for me going down. They're just like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's really weird because we should hate it. I, I, yeah, I don't I, know why. I feel like Post Malone is the kind of artist that I normally would hate. Right. That I'd just be, or not even hate, just not care about. Mm-hmm. Just be like, yeah. But for some reason... He just strikes that chord. Maybe it's just that he's a really lovable dude. He seems like he'd be super fun to go for a beer with. Yeah, he's yeah. just goofy. He has grills and he yeah. smiles a lot. Dreads. And he talks about like fried chicken all the time. Right. And he's he's great. Yeah, he's he's me but giving less fucks. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's a a big thing is is and this maybe doesn't apply to you because mm-hmm. You're 11 years younger than I am. I'm old enough that I can get away with saying lit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, young enough that you can get away with it. All of the above. Sure. I've kind of gotten over the idea of guilty pleasures. Mm-hmm. Because if I like something, then I don't give a shit what yeah. anybody else thinks. If you judge me for liking something, eat dicks. Yeah, basically. So like, my first instinct would be like, Post Malone is my guilty pleasure, but no, it's just something I enjoy. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, some people still do have those, though, like those guilty pleasure bands, well, guilty pleasure songs that, like, when everyone's out of your car, mm-hmm. you kind of do that, like, look around, <laughs> play. You yeah. know, it's like, it's CD6 in the six disc changer. Oh, I feel you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, and I'm not really embarrassed about anything. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I I don't care. Yeah. But I do have those things where it's like, I'm not going to push this on other people right? if I don't have to. Like, I'm the asshole at, at work that listens to music without headphones mm-hmm. when I'm scheduling music. I know, music. our desks are beside each other. Yes. So, if I'm playing, like, if I'm going through a, a playlist that's going to be on our rock radio station, like, and I come across a Glorious Sun song or Papa Roach or Metallica or whatever, and I go, I, I kind of want to hear that. I'll hit play and listen to it through the speakers as I continue to work. If I'm sitting at my desk and I'm like, I kind of feel like listening to some Post Malone right now, (laughs) I will fish my headphones out of my desk and plug them in, which in itself is basically an admission that I'm doing something that I would be judged for. Yeah, it's and it's part of it is like no one else in our office likes him. Not even the people who work at like the pop slash hip hop station where Post Malone should be a big deal. We're like just... Get it. Yeah. Just get it, and, and everyone will understand <laughs> soon. You know what we should ask? Because we're talking about yeah. ours. If you are watching or listening, comment in under the video or under the podcast or whatever, or tweet at us, at Dolby. At Brit Jones Radio. What is your guilty pleasure? What is the you know a band or a song or even a genre you put in headphones mm-hmm. for, just sort of to keep in line with what we're talking and about? And did you like the Harry Styles solo album as much as I did? I haven't heard it. I don't know anything it's about actually it. Actually, really good. My my before Post mm-hmm. Malone, my thing was like I don't actually hate the newest Justin Bieber album. I haven't listened to that one. I because well, I I listened to it because I have a three year old and right. I I was still like you know tough like no man <laughs> Justin Bieber's a bitch I don't need that in my life I'm not listening to that but I have a three year old and putting on music videos makes her laugh and dance and that's cute and also way less work mm-hmm. for me. So you put on, and she fell in love with, like, Despacito and uh, Love Yourself and, like, all these new songs that came out, like, a year ago. And so they're on all the time. And, you know, I'm I'm not so much of an absentee parent that I'll put them on and then leave. So I'm there. And all of a sudden I'm like, 
this isn't as bad as I mm-hmm. think it should be. And then one night you find yourself, you're putting your son to bed, and you're like, seat. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm too busy playing <laughs> HQ trivia yeah, true. while trying to put my son to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we have time for that story. It's it, Listen, it's a simple story. HQ Trivia it. comes on at 8 o'clock. Sometimes that gets pushed back to 9 if they're having server issues. My son goes to bed at 9. I take him up and lay with him until he starts snoring so that he's out. And sometimes that means trying to play HQ Trivia on the sly without him seeing Like turn the screen <laughs> brightness all the way down. Sort of lean away mm-hmm. from him and just be like, no volume. No Sorry. volume. Sorry, Scott. Sorry, Quiz Khalifa, but no volume. Quizzy McGuire. And just tapping, tapping songs. Mm-hmm. Host Malone. Host Malone. Uh, and, and, but I mean, I, I should stop because I get eliminated super early every time. Because <laughs> then the kid's trying to wake up and yeah. like, probably like, what do you got over there? And I'm distracted. <laughs> He's really having an impact on my ability to play yeah. cell phone trivia. We, uh, we, we lost someone this week. <sighs> this is always hard always hard why does it happen every week i don't know uh thea Waite, a writer from our station passed away uh he tried to smoke calcium and uh not even once not even once everyone knows you inject it thea everyone knows that. so moment of silence for thea <laughs> <laughs> You had, you had the <laughs> guiltiest smile on your face. That's the worst one yet. Oh. Uh, Theo's dead. Moving on. I'm Dolby. I'm Britt. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to Two Wrongs Don't Make a Good Podcast. New episodes every Thursday on your favorite podcast app. The video version is available at facebook.com slash the wolf rocks every Friday. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm going to go now and make sure those two idiots don't get into trouble. Bye. Bye.